five. Dream health is looking good. We are good to go. Team health. I think green. Okay, here we go. Monkey Island. Curse of Monkey Island, part two. A lot of people have commented that I seem pretty down on this game from, from the first time. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, I do enjoy this game. I am enjoying this game. I don't think it stands in the same level as the first two. I really don't. I know a lot of people prefer it over the first two. Um, a lot of people saying this is their favourite. You're all entitled to your opinion, of course. I just do not agree. I think the second one, LeChuck's Revenge, the Revenge even, is the best one in the series. And, uh, I mean, it shows for me because I played uh, Secret of Monkey Island and the Chuck's Revenge. I played them almost every year since they came out. Um, I always drop back into them. Whereas this is the second time I've ever played this game. So. Just. I, I don't think the writing is, is up to standard. I don't think the puzzles are particularly great. And I don't think that the... I think the humour is more forced than it was on the other two. Um, I think this is like people trying to copy Monkey Island rather than them coming up with a new Monkey Island. So I do have criticisms of this game, but I do enjoy it. That's why... I mean, I've been waiting for it to come out in a playable format for a few years now. So I was glad it came out on Steam. I could finally give it another go. And here we go. Beach over. We can get on with the game. Um, I've come back here because I want to use the magic wand on the hat. Because I don't think I did that Nothing last time. Sleeve. And it seems like a Monkey Island thing to do. Presto! Hey, it worked. There's something inside. There's a book. We'll take the book and then we'll look at it and see what it is. Nope, I've got to do that. There we go. The A, V, mm, C's of ventriloquism. Okay. Didn't help. Now, have I missed anything? I did the coat. Oh, there's a pocket. Nope. What? Open the pocket. I guess you do open there's a pocket. There's a glove in here. Oh, I can challenge someone to a duel with that, which I think I need. To do. Um... Right, so the other ideas I had were all to do down at the barber shop. There's the Monkey Island theme on the clock. Um, so, I want to get rid of this guy. Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons! What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin, the scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for <laughs> drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. <laughs> I'm going to have to amputate. No, no, you ruined my hair. He does love his hair. Wow. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure I want those scissors, which probably means I've got to be in that chair. But let's see if the glove with the jewel thing works. Now there's a challenge <laughs> to the field of honor. <laughs> Choose Someone your now. weapon. Uh, pistol, pistol. I want to use this thing at the back. I 
I there choose the banjo. I accept. I remember the dueling banjos. I don't remember how to win it, but I remember the dueling banjos. note was wrong i uh -oh. win i wasn't paying attention I win. Woo, woo, woo. yes you lose oh i am so good what a sore winner <laughs> want to try again yes sure i'm just getting warmed up it's all about the wrong notes two two one Five. Five again, I think. What's the matter, brush boy? Can't you keep up? What? Uh, I'm sorry, I just, just lost stopped. myself in the beauty of the melody. Would you like to try again? Oh god, there's a speed element sure. to it as well. Can I'm I just, just getting warmed up. Can I just skip most of it? Five. I don't know what that was. Shit. I sound like a lot of ones. That's a two. That's a three. That's a one. Two. One, two, one, four, five, two. Pretty good boy. Let's I see am. you follow this. <laughs> He's good. I'll never beat him. Yeah, let's just let's just shoot him. Why can't I shoot him? No. Do I already have the gut? Oh. He did not Would make that clear. Oh, dear. shot my banjo. You can't I be did. sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, oh, that's what I never heard of Jake anything was. so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. <laughs> I'll need two more sailors for my crew. Alright, we're getting somewhere. You know, 
I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. Oh, he's choking. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing, really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on... Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. As it should be. Nah. Oh. Well, I'll pick up the jawbreaker. I don't know what I want to do with that. Alright, now let's see if we can get these scissors. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie. And I'll do you up with a fine quaff. that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. All right, Scrooge McDuck. I can't reach them. Yeah, I'd have to use the handle to get up there. Um, no? I need to be sitting in the chair. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't reach them. Well, you really rely heavily on that rule of free nonsense, don't you? Phew. Well, I searched the whole island and I couldn't have found a single <laughs> rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I uh -oh. just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. <laughs> okay, I think I'm out of ideas for the barber shop, so. Now, hang on, I can use this mysterious door. What can I do here now that I've got a jawbreaker, a paperweight, and a pair of scissors? And a book. Bush. A pristine example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. There you go. Alright. I cut me some mysterious flowers? I can. I wonder if this plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana. One of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Okay, I can make people sick. Underground. Wow. This jungle is thick. I'll need something sharp if I'm going to hack my way through there. Okay. Can this really be the answer for two puzzles? Apparently, yes. Yes, it can. Oh, he's going up the mountain path. Oh, God. Nope. I'm going to do that the whole game, aren't I? Hmm, snake I wonder what this crossing. Sign means. Snake crossing? What possible harm could a snake... Oh, God. Ooh. 
I've just been eaten by a snake. Well, this isn't good. Snake away. I can't reach it. Laws of life. Oh, there's stuff in the snake. All right, let's pick up a Fabergé egg. All right, you can clean your attachments. Lots of stuff. Okay. LucasArts coffee mug, nice. Some pancakes, syrup, some pancakes, a sausage, eggs. Naturalist remains, nice. Spare tire. Oh, a reservation slip. Stuffed dinghy dog. Top secret plans. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. <laughs> Old phone books. Encyclopedia. It's volume C and it's mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random piece of trivia. Wonder if that's gonna come in handy at some point. Fact, okay, this is the stuff I picked up. Do I need to use the poison to get out of the snake? It makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. That does seem logical. And it's this a go? Okay, Whew. that seemed to work. That sure was a close one. Damn I thought for sure time. when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, 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 you're stuck in quicksand. All right. Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. No, Hopefully there's not the reservation slip. No, I keep the reservation slip in the encyclopedia. Okay. Life-saving vine. Well, that's not going to work. Branch. I can't reach it. Work. Salvation vine. Arborealis deus ex machinas. This species of vine is noteworthy for both its strength and its ability to grow anywhere except where it's most needed. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Papa Pichu bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. Okay. Ah, Papa Pichu. Well, <laughs> I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. I have no idea. Quicksand pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh-oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking. <laughs> Some reeds. Good. If I thrash around, I'll only sink faster. That is true. Um, well, I just found these. That normally means you put them together. A world class pea shooter. Um, you could use the pea shooter to pop a balloon, but how is that useful? Unless I can get the balloon on the vine? Well, I can't use a balloon with that. I'd need something to weigh it down, maybe. Below is the unique command, so we'll try that. Perfect. Okay, For once today, <laughs> things are going. Ah, oh, bye bye, balloon. Well, darn. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's 
prolonging the agony. Those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. So if I then pop that with my pea shooter. I've now got access to this boat at the back. Hmm. There seem to be some sharks there. It's the bay. Can I use the bay? It's got a huge hole in the bottom. I'd sink. Is this where I use the gum? I don't have enough gum to plug a hole that big. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. Absolutely can paste that. I can't that. paste that. This is only for reading. Okay. What if I use more if I... Uh... I don't need a new stick. My old one nope. still has some flavor left. All right, so I don't know what to do with the boat, but I've got it. I think this is where I want to be. Oh, I can get into the restaurant there, because I kept the reservation slip. Yes. All right, let's see if I can move this forward a little bit. Do you have a reservation? I do. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. Um, nope. I'm going to do that the entire game. <laughs> He's awfully reserved for a pirate. He's dead, Jim. Uh, excuse me. Sir? Now that's just rude. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! That Manny it's from Grim Fandango. Hi! I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me checking. Oh. Uh. I think I want the knife. And then what is this button that fell off? It says, "Ask me about Grim Fandango." Okay, that answers my question about if it's Manny. I don't want the asking me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> this is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Ah, yes, he got our black and Cajun style chicken. I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. Biscuits and more. Look at the menu. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. Can I pick up some biscuits and more? Can good. Can I pick up the biscuit cutter? Can can I pick up the pie pan? I can. Good. It's the owner of the shop. He's got a gold tooth. Oh, if I talked to him, to be honest. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? Hmm? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! Ha <laughs> ha! Golden nuggets of chicken! loud plane. Oh. A treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> Now, what can kindly old Captain Blondebeard bring you for lunch? Hopefully nothing. 
Okay, I can't talk to you, it seems. Eh, nothing for me, thanks. It'd be just as well. Actually, I mounted just about everything. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Oh, dear. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! Oh, that could be it my treasure. It's like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. Would you like to join my crew and sail to Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, calm down. I was Death just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beast whale in Nantucket. What's wrong? There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be. And he has a hatred for mankind unequal. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo. The Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all. And his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild, to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday <laughs> he'll return. For me! But mark this. I'll be ready for him, and a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Okay. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? I, I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgy. Been a member Ooh. there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. So he cooked, eh? Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Aye, you did. It's one heck of a gold tooth. And blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. I'll let you get back to work. Hi. I want your gold tooth. Do you want a jawbreaker? Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to you. Ouch! Oh. I think I loosed me gold tooth. Good. I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth. But it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. I've got gum for that. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Oh, how do I pop that bubble? I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. Something smaller than scissors. Um, something I didn't pick up because I'm assuming the knife will have the same issue. I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. Okay, possibly I didn't get what I need. Also, your chewing noise is disgusting. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. 
absolutely would, but okay. Tasty buttery biscuit. Right, let's eat it. the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. It's disgusting. Go eat this chicken. I think the membership card's in here. I think because I remember it being in there from when I played this 20 years ago. Yeah. Indeed. There it is. We get to the beach. I need to. Is there a mysterious door I can click on around here? I'm sure, you've got to do something with this at some point. It's all take me to the map because I want to go. Voodoo lady. I seem to remember you popped the bubble with a pin, and this is the place I remember pins being. Yeah. Oh. What a relief. <laughs> so now let's head back. I'm coming for you with your bottomless mug nonsense. I'm hoping I make you sick. Oh. That's the mysterious door. You're no longer blowing the... Good job, I got a big box of gum. More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. Thanks! Hmm! Huh. Why, you little scamp! <laughs> That's quite a funny <laughs> trick you played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. Old Captain Blondebeard. I'm stealing your gold teeth. Because I'm hey! pretty sure I need it. Where do you think you'll be going in such a hurry? Oh. I don't suppose you know where me missing gold tooth be? Uh, no. Then what do you call that then? Oh, that. I thought it was a rock in my shoe. I was going to take it outside. Sure you was. Give it back. Hmm. This is where you use. This is where you use the pipes and the mud puddle. Uh, I can do this, I think. More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. Yep, 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 yep. And then... I can't use the scroll wheel. This gives me the... <laughs> Pop me bubble, did you? I did, because I'm a little bastard. The gold tooth is in the gum. How is that handy? Can I do ale? Do I make the gum into a floating blue? I think I do. I think that's what I do. Because then it should float out the wind. Yeah. I remember this from doing this all these years ago. It took me a lot longer to work out back then, I can tell you that. And there it goes down the drain pipe. Wait one second. So you hit down the drain pipe and then you use the pie pan as a goal shifting thing to find it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
hours, I think, that puzzle took me. First time. So that means I can now get the second of my shipmates, right? Because I believe that gets me Cutthroat Bill. Ah, oh, why do you walk so slowly if you don't go through the bloody mysterious doors? So if I now give the gold tooth to Cutthroat Bill... Check this out. Is that real gold? It's you I think yes, I tossed the cable for. Find treasure. It's so Scottish. Join my crew? <laughs> sure. As long as my partners will join too. I'll need one more sailor for my crew. I didn't keep the tooth. All right, now that you're not cutting hair, can we get Ahoy somewhere there. with you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMuffin of the clan. Yeah, you're Scrooge McDuck. We know. How did you become a uh, zillionaire How duck? I think he was a zillionaire. I spent 10 years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a cripple ship. Ah. Oh, come on. Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful <laughs> captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard the tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. What a rousing story. Full of adventure, twists Bulky and turns. Island. Where's that? You won't find it on any map. Captain Jake took the location of the treasure to his grave. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs and lifted with all his might. The sound of his back cracking brought a grimace to even the most steel hearted <laughs> crewman. By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Why didn't you work in pairs or groups of three or four? That would have been the weak man's way out. The pirate Angus McFulcrum had followed us to Bulky Island, wanting the treasure for himself. The weakling used a lever Angus to McFulcrum. the chest, laughing at us as he carried it to his ship. And my proud Captain McJuggernaut died in traction, cursing himself for not being <laughs> strong enough. Use your brain, kids. Use you your like brain. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how okay. would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Traded rules football, 500 meter bucket full of heavy rock relay, helping you move. And in your face, no holds barred cage match to and the death. And in your face, no holds barred cage match to the death? No. I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility, the caber toss. <laughs> Sounds right. great. Let's do it. I mean, I'm going to fail. <sighs> so I can work out some way of cheating. Oh. I would never follow such a weak captain. Okay, let's work out how I cheat at the cable toss, which is up here. I mean, it's got to have to do something to do with the... I know it's got something to do with the rubber tree. Uh, I also think you fix the boat by doing something with the rubber tree. I think that fixes the rowing boat, and then 
This is this is testing my memory. <laughs> Twenty years now, but I think you do something like this. And I think you set fire to it, and that puts the rubber tree in the cable toss pile. And then I use the ember on a stick. And then I think we can win. Actually, drink any rum. Come on. Alright, so let's challenge you again. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It's as I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the cable toss. I think I can now. Sounds great. Let's do it. Guys. Hey, I win! By the spiraling bouffant to me, great Uncle McManus! Never before have I seen such strength! Sure, I'll join your crew! I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. Well, I got my whole crew. I just need a boat. A barrel of grog! And a chicken! <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate! Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... <laughs> That's the Chuck's it's, boots. It's some kind of footwear. Hey, those are nice boots. But they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right. So I need a map. And I need a boat. You know what? We made good progress today. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, we'll try and get the map and the boat next time. So, thanks for watching. Uh... Hope you're enjoying, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.